Uh, my colleagues, please sign in. And now it's time for public comments. Edith Rogers. On May 1st, 2018, the board was informed of the sexual abuse of a young man named Ryan, who endured um, a lot of abuse while he was under the care of Riverside County. As this child grew into a severely mentally disabled adult, the sexual, mental, and physical abuse continued. On May 11th, 2018, you all were provided the video evidence of this disabled adult's um, who had been coerced into a marriage to one of the abusers. The attorney firm, Brown, White, and Osborne, the public guardian's office, along with some parts of county council, um, Judge Karaman, Judge Sunshine, they all were in support of the abusers and has allowed this to continue. Um, we're asking for each supervisor who has reviewed or had in their possession this video evidence to immediately hand over their resignation. I am sure that if we showed the video, which we have today, to everyone present, each and everyone in attendance would agree with us. We are calling um, for the overhaul of the probate department within our judicial system. Here in Riverside, maybe we can pave the way for some real change to take place. But we will continue to work with your appointee if they're still available to try to bring some things about. We thank you for your time. And if you would like to review the videotape, we would um, make it available to you now to show to the public. It's a very short tape. Yeah, there's no provision for that ability right now. It'd have to be pre-screened to make sure that there's not going to be anything. Can we put in place um, the mechanism so next Tuesday we can present it? It's very unlikely. What would we need to do to make that happen? Uh, probably change county policy. So let me let me work on that. We agendize it. So no, you cannot agendize it. Only the board can agendize. Well, the last time um, that I engaged in whistleblowing was back in um, the early um, '90s. And um, they did have a TV with the video um, capability that they can roll in for the public to review. Yeah, I'm just not familiar with the process to bring in for public comments. I mean, I'm sure it's legally possible. I just don't know how it's done. Okay. We'd have to give it to legal counsel and make Who can sure. we work with to bring it legal about? Legal counsel's office here. He was present. He, he, he reviewed the video. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Again, it's just I have to figure out the process. All right. So Thank who, you. Who will, who will I work with? Still, Mr. Wagoner. Oh, great, great promos. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Monica Mukai. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. I'm Monica Mukai, and um, good morning, Board of Supervisors. I uh, addressed you folks before, including May first, uh, 2018, for those of you that were on the board. Um, and I, again, um, coming, as you know, um, this year in concerns with uh, not only my um, biological nephew, Ryan Morris, um, but numerous people that are in the same or similar situation. Uh, and I'm asking that this Board of Supervisors and Mr. Um, Jeffries, uh, I have already contacted your office, but I'm asking for each of you that are here present today. I understand Washington and Perez are not here, but I would like to have a face-to-face -face with all of you to discuss this, and if, if possible, all together so it could be done in a more expedited fashion as uh, uh, Ryan Morris is still um, needing uh, great assistance. And like we said, this is a systemic problem where in North County, or excuse me, Northern California, the organi uh, organizations and advocates of advocates and activists are actually meeting with their board of supervisors, and uh, they're reviewing the information together. They're also reviewing a documentary called The Guardian, which is something that we would like to work together at, because while it is something that is affecting our own family members, we know that this is a systemic problem that is affecting many families, and we would like to address both issues at the same time. So I ask uh, if you folks can or order um, Mr. Priamos's office um, to uh, also coordinate on that aspect so we can show the video present here um, and then also address all the board members to, uh, or board of supervisors rather together. 
Um, so what, what is it that we need to take, uh, do to take the next steps? Because we have been meeting with individuals and we have been meeting with one of the um, um, uh, supervisors tomorrow, but what steps do we need to take in order to have a meeting with all of you folks together so that we're not doing independent meetings and we can expedite the process? Because I am concerned with what Mr. Priamos indicated the last time we walked out of the room, um, and I would like to address that at another time with you folks, not necessarily in a public meeting, or if I need to, I will address the issues in public as well. So what steps do we need to take in order to have um, conversations with all of the Board of Supervisors? Okay, thank you for your presentation. Oh, I, I just asked a question. I'm aware of that, but we're, it's not on the agenda. We're not allowed to engage and make decisions on items that are not on the agenda. County Council can respond, but we cannot engage and make decisions. It's a Brown Act violation in California. Okay. Can I respond? Yes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, again, I just want to emphasize to the Board of Supervisors that this matter is currently under the jurisdiction of the probate court, and we are aware of Ms. Mukai's concerns, and we have and are looking into those concerns with the affected county departments. Tomorrow, Supervisor Hewitt is having a meeting since Mr. Morris is a constituent of District 5 and I will be present at that meeting as well. And so it is important to understand that the board cannot meet as a group uh, in a private meeting because that would be a violation of our open meetings laws. Furthermore, if you have any information, including the video, you are more than free to provide that to our office and we will review it and we will look into whatever concerns you have expressed as well as those that have been expressed by um, Mr. Morris's brother's attorney. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. You, he was answering your questions as a result of your three minutes, so thank you very much. Okay.